I'd now like to move to, as I said, one of the architects of the first Club de Madrid Asia-Pacific Forum, and that's uh, Dr. Josefa Mayava, who, as you've just heard, has, um, has gone through an amazing odyssey just to get here. So, again, Josefa, welcome from everybody, and uh, the floor is yours. It's a wonderful example of uh, cross-regional cooperation on a laptop. <laughs> and here comes the Madri Leno to the rescue. Uh, no, that's still on. Yosefa has been a, a force for, for development throughout the Pacific in the last uh, 20 years or so. He's, um, and uh, everything from sustainable development through to uh, ways of, 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 of mobilizing um, people and organizations in support of sustainable development in the region. So he has an awful lot to talk to us about, but uh, he's going to condense it for you this morning. The floor again is yours. Thank, thank you very much, uh, Lille. It's a pleasure to, uh, to be here, finally make it this morning. Um, 48 hours uh, to get to a, uh, a destination, which is normally about four hours direct flight mm. from uh, from Fiji. Um, of course, everything you know, from adverse weather to uh, mechanical problems to bureaucracy, all conspired to ensure that that would be spending 48 hours uh, either on a tarmac or in an airport or in a plane. Uh, but it does, uh, as as um, as uh, Gomez say, it does um, speak to one of the biggest sustainable development challenges we have in the Pacific, and that is of the diseconomies of not only size, but distance. Uh, because, you know, small sizes, so no economies of scale, long distance, thin routes, very expensive. Uh, and so I think that, uh, and, and um, you know, if Caribbean has a problem with, uh, with distance, uh, then I think we have a, I don't know, uh, a huge, uh, a huge challenge compared to the to the to the Caribbean when it comes to uh, so naturally, as expected, uh, our the Pacific Island countries have one of the um, highest uh, infrastructure challenge in the Asia Pacific region. Uh, the ESCAP the organization, I um, or the the other thing about this is, of course, even if if the value of an activity is measured in terms of uh, difficulty in accessing, it, then this is surely a very valuable activity. So it's I think worthwhile uh, coming here, even if it's just for a day. Um, ESCAP is a regional commission, um, and uh, but I won't be speaking about um, the regional architecture, the regional um, uh, makeup of, of the Pacific. Hopefully, we can um, cover that in the uh, session on um, regional cooperation later this afternoon. Uh, the session that I was interested in also uh, yesterday on, on Mighty Neighbors, uh, uh, I think, uh, has uh, something. In, in uh, the presentations that I'll that in the presentation that I'll be making, um, just to suggest that uh, in, uh, not necessarily uh, we we'll, are not going to necessarily find everything that we are looking for in this uh, in this event. We'll have to be looking at other sessions uh, uh, as well. How do you? Uh -huh. All right. So instead, I'm going to talk about the uh, the outcome of the big event that just uh, occurred in Rio, in your region, uh, and uh, see what, what the implications are for, for, for the Pacific, uh, because that event, as you know, is about sustainable development. Twenty years ago, uh, the world agreed on um, sustainable development principles, and uh, this, this, this meeting in, in Rio was to review and uh, try and uh, re-energize uh, the, 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 the commitment to sustainable development. Uh, for the Pacific Island countries, for the SIDS, uh, although the, the big, the, the, the big um, agreement, as uh, Gomez uh, referred to, is the Mauritius Strategy for Implementation, which is the only globally agreed uh, agreement, uh, sorry, agreement for, for the small island developing states. For the Pacific, the review of the MSI um, said that we saw, uh, concluded that while the vulnerability of the Pacific Island countries was increasing, their capacity or the ability to cope was not, due to all sorts of, including the, the new challenges of global economic crisis, um, 
climate change and natural disasters uh, on top of the, 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 the traditional uh, issues of, um, of, of, of um, these economies of scale, for example. Uh, the review of the MSI also agreed that there was a need for new and additional measures, that what the world was doing was not enough in order to achieve the sustainable development of small island developing states. Furthermore, it agreed that there was a need for a balanced, a coordinated, and an integrated approach towards sustainable development. In other words, sustainable development as being pursued was not balanced enough, was not integrated, was not coordinated. Um, so from the MSI Plus 5 review, we've taken it into the Rio Plus 5, uh, sorry, in the Rio Plus 20, which is where the green economy comes in. Green economy represents a, a balance, uh, an approach uh, towards sustainable development that is more balanced, more coordinated, and more integrated, uh, and um, generates new and additional tools and means of achieving sustainable development, and certainly address the, uh, the vulnerability of small island developing states through economic tools, uh, amongst others. Uh, so the general overview of the Rio Plus 20 outcome, um, as you can see on the screen, more than 120 political leaders attended, uh, more than 50,000 50, participants. Um, the outcome, the future we want, was adopted uh, thanks to the strong leadership of Brazil. Uh, there are about 26 sectoral issues in the document. Uh, 680 voluntary commitments were, 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 were made. Uh, and the key decision was to develop sustainable development goals uh, as a post-2015 development agenda. As you know, 2015 is when the MDGs um, are supposed to have been achieved. Obviously, they are not going to be achieved, uh, not all of them, and not, uh, for, for, certainly not for the Pacific Island countries uh, as, a, as, as a whole. So there is a need to look at uh, post-2015 post development agenda and the SDGs have been agreed to by the world leaders as um, um, merging with the uh, reflection on the MDGs um, and uh, into the process of developing a 2015 development agenda. And for that, the Secretary General uh, is going to form an expert group, uh, including three presidents, to follow up on the Rio Plus 20 commitments. Uh, recognizes the role of the regional commissions. Uh, this is something that is uh, we, we, we are very we're very pleased with that the Rio Plus 20 recognizes the role of the UN regional commissions. There are five UN regional commissions, uh, and as the way things are going, increasingly there is a regionalization of the global agenda. Many many more things will be pursued through the regional commissions than through the global um, sort of institutions that the UN. And, and, and uh, the UN has. Uh, the, and then, of course, there is the SG's initiative on the um, sustainable energy for all. Um, the rationale for change that's uh, being proposed in the future we want, um, and this uh, in, in the document itself, uh, section 2B, uh, it explains why there is a need for change. Uh, it, for example, the document recognizes uh, uh, that um, a billion people remain in extreme poverty, 14% undernourished public health challenges, human insecurity, vulnerability of SIDS, LDCs, and landlocked countries, African countries. Uh, these are all problems suggesting that the gaps in the development agenda remain, if not widening, certainly for, 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 for some countries. Uh, and uh, the document also acknowledged that there has been insufficient progress and a lot of setbacks in the integration of the three dimensions of sustainable development, i.e. the economic, social, and the bal uh, and, uh, and, and environment pillars, uh, and that there is a lack of balance, uh, that there is in the Asia-Pacific region, for example, um, the phenomena of growth without development, um, given the fact that Asia-Pacific in, in Asia in the main is now the growth pole. It's the fastest growing uh, region in the world, and yet it still has the largest number of people living in poverty. Uh, and the issue of job, joblessness uh, uh, pervades in, in the Asia Pacific region. In the Pacific uh, region, the Pacific island countries, if you look at the achievements uh, under M MDGs, 
MDG one is about uh, poverty, is having uh, having the, the the rate of uh, of, of poverty people, um, and MDG seven is about environmental sustainability. What you see in the MDG is that for the Pacific, the worst MDGs are MDG one and MDG seven. Um, and there has been some growth, particularly in Melanesian countries, uh, Papua New Guinea, Solomon Islands, Vanuatu. But it is also in those countries where we see the biggest gaps with regards to MDG, particularly MDG 1 and MDG 7. So in the Pacific, there is also that case where we've had some growth, uh, particularly in some countries, but where the, the, the gap, development gap um, remains, um, and, uh, and particularly in terms of, 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 of poverty, that remains a, a big issue. And, uh, and joblessness, um, particularly among the youth and, and, and the women, uh, major problems with, uh, with, with, uh, uh, with the absence or lack of, of jobs. The document also recognizes, uh, on the other hand, that there are examples in uh, sustainable development uh, which can be replicated, and this is one of the, the, the value of these sorts of sessions. Uh, you know, we've heard from, from the Caribbean experience. There's obviously a, quite a, a number of interesting Initiatives, examples that we can look at replicating in the Pacific, and and and, and the Pacific itself has a lot of those uh, examples that can be replicated, uh, not only within the region but elsewhere. And uh, interestingly, there is an agreement uh, that uh, we need to look at broader measures of progress in addition to GDP. In, a, in other words, the, the traditional way of measuring uh, development uh, is no longer acceptable. Um, gross development product uh, needs to be enhanced by some other uh, ways of, 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 of measuring development and the role has been given to the UN, the Statistical Commission and the UN system as a whole to look at coming up with such. Um, the substantive outcomes of the Rio Plus 20 is the recognition of green economy as one of the important tools for sustainable development. Um, green economy I think I'll just use one example uh, of, of how uh, the a green economy perspective uh, is different from the usual sustainable development uh, notions or understandings that we have. I think uh, Gomez referred to the example of, uh, of, of energy and how renewable energy technology um, is still very, very expensive. From an, a green economy point of view, it's important to understand that the reason why um, renewable technology is very expensive is partly because of the high subsidies on fossil fuel, which makes the, the fuel uh, artificially affordable as compared to the, uh, to the renewable energy. And um, an interesting thing occurred uh, in Rio where the issue of, uh, of subsidies, the need to remove subsidies on fossil fuel was hotly debated under the, under the energy um, um, sort of um, uh, sector on a, under the energy heading. They couldn't come to any agreement, um, and so um, somehow um, that reference ended up under the sustainable consumption and production section of the document. So, but you, 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 you will see there um, in paragraph uh, 20, uh, 225 of the, uh, of the outcomes document, um, it, uh, it uh, talks about um, inviting uh, others to consider rationalizing inefficient fossil fuel subsidies by, remo by removing market distortions, including restru restructuring taxation and phasing out harmful subsidies where they exist. That is the point of difference between a green economy approach uh, to, to sustainable development and others that we have um, been used to. Uh, as, as, has, as has been suggested, there are opportunities and constraints in, in the Pacific that hopefully we'll have the opportunity to. Uh, um, we, we've done a number of, uh, of assessments, national assessments, and, and, and we believe that there are opportunities in um, tourism, uh, sustainable to eco tourism. There are a couple of examples in the Pacific, including in Fiji. Uh, there are opportunities in, uh, in, in renewable energy, uh, biofuels, uh, biogas, uh, solar. Uh, and I think Tahiti has got some really interesting examples uh, on, 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 on the use of uh, solar and, uh, and, and, um, and the hydro, the, 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 the sea, uh, wave, wave action. Um, there are uh, countries in the Pacific where 
uh, environmental taxes have been introduced uh, to try and, 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 and manage the issue uh, and try to um, resource, resource use taxes have been introduced to try and, and reflect in the actual prices of the commodities, the harm or the, that it does to the environment. Uh, Palau, Fiji, and Palau are good examples. In the case of Palau, there is a, a, a very interesting tax, uh, a, a, um, a departure tax, uh, environment departure tax, that the tourists are quite happy to pay. I think it's about $50 for, for, for a, a departure. Tourists are quite happy to pay because they know that that tax is going to go to the, uh, to the, to the, to the protection of the environment, to ensuring that what right. they come to Palau to see anyway is going to be looked after, um, including by them. Um, the, the, the Rio Plus 20 also uh, agreed to launch an intergovernmental process for developing the sustainable development goals. And this is where I think um, where we have an example of where the Pacific could look at maximizing its influence by being involved, uh, and the Caribbean as, as part of the SITS, by being involved in this process, this intergovernmental process. The, the outcomes document also recognizes, the, as I've said before, the significant role of the regional commissions um, in promoting balance integration of the three dimensions. One, one of the things about the regional commissions is that they are multidisciplinary. Most of the UN bodies are, are sectoral or thematic in nature. The regional commissions uh, are multidisciplinary in that uh, they deal with economic, they deal with environment, and they deal with social social issues. Though they are well placed to look at to to, to um, integrate these. Uh, and for the Pacific, the document reflect the four broad objectives that the Pacific had taken to Rio Plus 20. Those four objectives are the need to reaffirm that the Pacific sits as part of the sits as a whole is a special case for environmental and, 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 and economic reasons. Um, and this was reaffirmed uh, in paragraphs uh, 178 to 180 in the document. The other objective of the Pacific was to really highlight the importance of the oceans. Uh, we, after all, we are an aquatic, we are an oceanic, uh, o oceanic region. Uh, and you cannot talk about the Pacific without talking about the oceans. And I think the, uh, the, the document has a very strong chapter or section on oceans, paragraphs 158 to 177. In fact, it's one of the biggest um, sector sections uh, in, 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 the, um, in, in, in the document. Uh, and then climate change. Climate change, not as strong as the Pacific would have liked, but it is there. Um, the fact that climate change is so fundamental to the sustainable development uh, of the small island developing states, that unless you address climate change at its core um, source or, 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 or um, um, addressing its root causes, then might as well forget about talking about sustainable development in the, in, in the small island developing states. And then fourthly, the means of implementation. One of the, one of the conclusions of the Mauritius strategy uh, uh, implementation review um, the five-year review was that uh, very little was being done to actually implement the outcomes of the MSI, including by the United Nations. Uh, and there was a need to uh, look at more practical means of, 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 of achieving uh, the outcomes. And so there was a great effort given uh, in the Rio Plus 20 negotiation to the means of implementation, new and additional finances to make this transformation to green economy possible, because the private sector have told us in the Pacific, we are interested, but, you know, we need help. We can't make the, the, the switch. We can't make the, 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 the change uh, on our own. And so that's the importance of the role of the government. The other means of implementation covered in, and there is a, an interesting process uh, that will result in a report on, on options for uh, financing sustainable development and green economy that's going to go to the General Assembly. And I think this region, the Pacific, should be um, uh, playing its card to ensure that it is represented on that, uh, on that work. The second uh, means of implementation, technology transfer, very, very important for, for, for the Pacific as well. Um, there is a process uh, outlined in the document for, for ensuring that we do get, receive uh, appropriate technology. 
The third means of implementation is um, that of capacity building. I think um, Gomez has referred to the lack of the problem of capacity and lack of capacity in the Caribbean. I think the Pacific has got one of the lowest uh, uh, capacities in, 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 in the world. Uh, and obviously, we are not just talking about capacity building, but possibly uh, capacity supplementation uh, as well. And then the issue of trade, interestingly, is also recognized as a means of implementation, and there's reference mm -hmm. in the document to the need to look at promoting uh, trade in environmental, uh, ecologically sound uh, goods and commodities, and the need to look at trade distortions, uh, which is the big issue for, for, for the price takers like we have in the Pacific uh, countries. Um, so I think uh, all in all for the Pacific, um, the, we can be happy enough with the outcome of the, uh, of the, of the uh, Rio Plus 20. Very, very quickly in terms of the institutional outcomes uh, and opportunities for influencing our mighty neighbors and, uh, and, 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 and friends, I think this, is, this process could be uh, made better use of by the Pacific Island countries to ensure that they do have a voice. There is going to be a high-level political forum to replace the Commission on Sustainable Development, uh, and there is going to be a discussion around that at the General Assembly. That's something to bear in mind, particularly by the forum leaders when they meet uh, in, uh, in, 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 a, in a few weeks' time. There is an open working group 30 representatives nominated by the, uh, by the regional, uh, five regional groups. Um, we are part of the Asia-Pacific region. As I said, there are uh, five uh, regions. Uh, so we are looking at um, six representatives uh, for each region in this group. And surely, we, in the Asia-Pacific, we have five sub-regions. We are one of the five sub-regions. So surely, one of those sixes um, can come from the Pacific. Uh, that's something, again, the, our leaders need to, uh, to, uh, to, to look at. Um, the SG's interagency technical support team, uh, very important uh, expert uh, panels, um, um, is going to be uh, driving the, the technical aspect of, of this work. It's also very important that we uh, have an input into that uh, through our regional organizations working through the regional commissions, uh, such as SCAP. And then a means of implementation, as I said before, there is going to be an intergovernmental committee on finance, 30 experts nominated by regional groups. Again, uh, we need to look at ensuring that we do have the Pacific has a representative on, 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 on that expert group that's going to report by 2014 on financing strategies to make sure that all this commitment, these billions and billions of dollars being committed uh, uh, in, in, in Rio and before Rio actually do find their way to the Pacific Island countries and that we don't have a situation uh, of, the, of the present moment where you know, money is there but accessing them is, 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 is another story. Uh, and we, we, with regards to energy, there is uh, going to be an effort to develop a facilitation mechanism to promote the development, transfer, and dissemination of clean and environmentally sound technologies. Again, it's something that the, the Pacific, uh, we have a number of uh, regional, sub-regional centers on, on technology that we need to look at uh, making better use of. And then capacity building and trade. Um, I think uh, for ESCAP, uh, you're not interested in that, I am sure, so I think I'll, I'll leave it there. Uh, if, if you want, I can also refer to the, what the document says about transport and, uh, and tourism, but maybe... Um, I, I think, you know, if you could just touch on it lightly, because, you know, you, we all know about transport <laughs> issues now, thanks to you, and also I think a, a couple of words about tourism, which is the world's largest industry, after all. I mean, Rio Plus 20 was it's a huge undertaking, and uh, people yeah. always talk about, they express dissatisfaction with the outcome of it, but um, I mean, one person said that uh, I went to Rio Plus 20 with very low expectations, and they were all met. But uh, I think that if you consider the political difficulties of getting so many countries to agree on the time of day, is in itself an achievement. So the, the United Nations sees this as a success because uh, the, the 150 countries that attended agreed on the minimum 
level and standards of, of cooperation required for the major issues feed, uh, facing the planet. So, Yosef, would you like a, a couple yeah, more words? I, I think that's a very good point. I mean, that's, as I said, um, increasingly we are looking at uh, regionalizing the global agenda. Uh, and so even, even before uh, Rio, we were already planning on, 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 on what this region was going to do with the outcome um, coming out of Rio, expecting that, you know, even if we have the, the minimum, it's really up to us to, uh, to, uh, what, what to do with, with, with that. Uh, we can do as much as, as, as we, we can or we can do nothing. Yeah, the whole uh, point really, is that, yeah, yeah, uh, development so is not a one-shot thing. Development is a continuum that requires feeding and strengthening as it goes. So mm. it doesn't end with Rio. Right, right, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, energy, sustainable tourism, and, and, and sustainable transport uh, in, in, in the document uh, to paragraphs uh, 125, 129, um, is, the, is, is the one on, uh, on, on energy and there the SG's initiative on sustainable energy for all which was joined by 100 organizations uh, more than 50 countries uh, with 50 billion US dollar um, not startup capital but <laughs> <laughs> something that, that we can sort of start off shopping list <laughs> Uh, in fact, that is one of the biggest uh, takeaways from Rio. You know, the voluntary commitments. Uh, a lot of the, a lot of the, the countries made those commitments. Um, and the um, sustainable tourism. Um, what's emphasised in the document is the need for capacity development, uh, which uh, is, is part of the, of, of of the focus of the Pacific in going to Rio. Really, the the need to develop the capacity, not just of the private sector, but of the. Of the uh, of, of of the governments uh, in terms of uh, you know training and uh, education and health, uh, providing all the all the support infrastructure for for, for tourism, and the importance of uh, investment and uh, and, and promotion. Um, the Pacific Island countries uh, has a few examples of, of of where investment has been possible in tourism, but by and large, very little investment is going to the Pacific Island countries, even with the best of policies. So. We have some cases in the Pacific where you know we have model policies, but no investment. So there is something else um, apart from uh, policy that, that that is stopping investment uh, coming in, and that's where the, the, the role of infrastructure. Uh, there is also an issue of the Pacific where uh, promotion um, is, is is somewhat not followed up with action, and I think someone said uh, that uh, we are a region of uh, of samples. We're very good at taking samples and displaying them overseas, uh, but when orders come, um, it's very <laughs> difficult to, 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 to meet not only the, the volume, but the, the quality. Um, sustainable transport uh, and, and mobility is also recognized as central to sustainable development, particularly for, 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 for a region like the Pacific. Without transport, uh, it's not going to be possible for us to uh, make uh, too much headway. Development of sustainable transport, uh, on the other hand, uh, offers a, a big challenge, particularly in terms of, uh, of, of fuel, the continuing use of and the absence of large-scale uh, renewable energy sources that can uh, that can motor a lot of the, the big infrastructure. Um, so these are the the, 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 the the kinds of issues that um, that that came up um, as a result of it, uh, and which we can take forward in in, in a way we consider best. Uh, most appropriate for our region. Thank you very much, Josefa. That was an amazing um, uh, summary of, of a hugely complex um, conference, uh, Rio Plus 20. So, uh, nice one.